what is going on you guys so before this video starts i just want to explain my plan for the youtube um, i'm going to be uploading basically what i'm doing right now beat tutorial beat breakdown whatever you want to call it i'm going to upload every friday basically of my favorite beat from the previous week whichever one that is i don't know gonna depend on the week which beat it is um, but yeah so hopefully i'll be able to keep up with that and so i'll be uploading tutorials every friday i might start streaming on twitch every saturday I'm waiting to see how that works out. Hopefully, I can get OBS all set up for both the recording and streaming and everything. Um, and then that'll be totally separate. I'll do live cookups on Twitch, and I'll be doing the beat breakdowns on my YouTube every Friday. Um, so today, I'm just going to be jumping right into it. Um, we're going to be covering a beat that I made, I don't know, a few a few weeks ago, maybe, um, but still pretty recent. Still one of my favorite beats up until now that I've ever made. And it's way outside of my usual comfort zone. It's got the, um, you know, the weekend retro wave 80s type feel. It's got those really nice synths, those beautiful crispy synth leads and um, the nice bass that just kind of glides across everything. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. And I guess if you like it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, do whatever you want. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into it. So I do already have the beat made, like I said, because I'm just doing the, like a beat breakdown. Uh, but I'm going to try to go over as much of it as I can. And you guys can go ahead and, you know, follow follow through um, with whatever whatever you want to do. If you want to remake the beat or if you just want to try it out on your own, just follow what I did. Um, this was actually a really simple beat. It's got a lot of elements. And you'll notice that with a lot of my beats, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, it, it looks like it's extra. I use it just to pull it in and out at certain times to different sections of the song. Um, it makes it a little bit more, there's more variety, and I think it's a really, really good thing, especially with something like this where it's try, trying to go for a different sound than what I normally go for. So it's trying to incorporate those elements of, you know, what I usually do with trap and everything else into this, you know, synth wave, retro wave, whatever you want to call it, um, type beat and so what i really started with on this was actually the drums which i never start with the drums um i feel like it it's really hard to get a vibe going with the when you start with the drums but this was the one time when i actually got it and it's really simple all i started with we'll go ahead and zoom zoom in a little bit here um and i'll go over as many of the individual elements that i think are more complicated than you can probably figure out but everything's pretty simple i mean it's not a complicated beat at all um, so I started with the kick here, go ahead and add a couple snares, and we'll go ahead and pull up the kick, we can see it on the drum track here. Um, you see, it, it's it's really, really not much going on there, there's no no super patterns or rolls or anything on the kick. Um, let's go ahead and just play it, and I'll show, you can listen to that for a second, and I'll go ahead and slowly add some of the other drum elements in um, as we go on, and then we'll discuss some of the basses and the synth leads as we go through that. But just for now, we'll go ahead and do the attack and the, uh, the snare and the kick. So yeah, you guys can kind of hear it. it's not much going on. Um, it's pretty basic. I got a couple snares going. I got the one main kick. Um, that's how I started it. Um, from there, I basically went in and added, added this um, bass. And I felt like it would really help me make the melody for it too. So this is what I pretty much did for the first bass here. Um, let's solo that. And you can kind of hear how it's... That's what I based my whole melody. Or that, like, and every other element was based around this bass line right here. And I had it in my head. As soon as I got the kicks and stuff down, that bass was just in my head. And I knew I had to use that. Um, I mean, and for the bass, we go, go ahead and go into it here. Um, I think that was actually just in the FL Studio. Um, I think that was in Flex. Yeah, that's just in Flex, which is a really, really underrated plugin. If you guys don't use it, I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, so this is what the bass pattern looks like. Um, just going up, going back down, guides it nice and long, real smooth. Um, with the kick and the snares, we can kind of hear it. Already got the nice, the nice groove that we're looking for with this type of beat. Um, really, really feels like you're, you know, anticipating, anticipating something moving forward. 
And that's where I kind of wanted to head with the rest of the beat as well. And so the next element I added was the hats. And we can go to the hats and you'll see it's not a lot going on. It's super simple, like I said, with the rest of the beat. It's super simple. It's just kind of a matter of manipulating all these elements to give you, you know, a good result. So with the hats, I all I did was change the velocity on every single one. That's all it is. So you have that feel like you're moving up, you're moving forward. And that's how the beat just keeps going. It just keeps moving with that forward momentum there. And that combined with the bass, I think is one of my favorite parts about this beat is it's, it's, it's super, um, there's a direction to it, you know? It feels like you're just constantly moving forward with it. Add that kick back in. So that snare, I'm going to go back to the snare for a second. Um, that snare is actually just out of one of the FL Studio stock packs. Um, I was looking for something that had had the punch, but also had that really almost, you know, that dirty sound that, you know, the 90s, 80s, dirty, not super chop. I hate the with beats like this, I would not use one of the chop snares. That is great for some stuff, but for this type of beat, you want something with a little bit more body. And I think... Some of the drums in stock FL are actually perfect for that, especially some of the some of the per percussion and the snares. I think are great for this kind of thing. Even even some R and B stuff. I mean, there there's nice solid body snares in there. Even some decent kicks. I wouldn't use a lot of the kicks, but there's some definitely decent drum sounds in there. So definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, so those are the basic elements there. I mean, that's what basic, it gives you the main, the main groove. You've already got that going with just, you know, five, six elements there and you're, you're already, you're already in there. Um, so I'm just going to add the other percussion pieces here. Got a little snap here. We'll go ahead and solo it real quick so you can hear that. not much going on but it adds something you know and i could I, I don't think i took that out anywhere but you know you could if you wanted to if you wanted to have something that you know you have it in the verse you don't have it in the chorus that might be a good one to have because you have enough other stuff going on in the chorus or the hook um and i think that's that's really important with this because you know you want to have the diversity within a beat that you can pull out certain elements and say this doesn't need to be here but also it can be added in later and then it'll make it sound a little bit different than before whether the listener realizes it or not and um that that's just I, I always try to do that as much as i can i think the more elements you have the more flexibility you have for that as well um so let's go ahead and i'm going to bring all the drum tracks in here and we will get going on the um main melody stuff um, I'm not totally sure what each, each of them are because I didn't label the actual synths. I just have them. They're mostly analog, analog lab. I love analog lab, especially for this kind of thing. You have some super, super powerful synths. Um, pads, pads are great in analog lab. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and bring that bass back in. We'll have the drums going. So as you can probably tell, I did add a, um, I did add a little tambourine in there. So yeah, that's, you know, that's the main groove. And then from there, I'm pretty sure I started adding, you know, this. Yeah, we have our big bass, super punchy. We have our drums coming in, and then we have that. Uh, let's go ahead and look what that is. I'm not, not, not positive what setting is for that. So yeah, it's just some random keys under Analog Lab. Um, I might have done some stuff down with the parameters there, but you know, it's it's nothing super complicated. Um, 
looking at the actual notes on it, it literally follows the baseline, which is what I was talking about with, you know, getting that baseline that you think could really work for it. And that's what creates the groove, that what, you know, you can base your entire melody around a good baseline. And even if you just, if you want to do inversions later, or if you want to stick with the root notes on it, either way, you can base everything on the bass. So then next we're going to add in this other analog lab. It's just a nice, light, airy pad. Um, again, once on the bass, you'll see a lot of this stuff in this, in this beat is all very similar as far as how it moves, what chord progressions it's using um, as far as the notes. And um, just that's how I kept it moving. I mean, honestly, I, I thought, I think I did a couple counter melodies. I barely used them actually like in the arrangement. It was, it was just not necessary. I think it sounds really good without everything moving in the opposite directions. Um, and I mean, they, they do work as counter melodies. Technically they are counter melodies, but it, it's those minor differences that can make a big difference in the end product. So let's go ahead and, oops. Go ahead and play the whole melody. Um, I'll add this stuff in later on. So, not a lot else happening. Um, we did have this other chord change section, but I know it's, again, it's based on some of the, um, it might be based on like the, some, some um, level or based on the bass again. Um, just kind of going up with that, and I don't even use that for everything, you know, there's some spots within the hook here that I haven't had it in, um, but it just adds that extra element that takes up that extra space above some of the other, some of the other changes. Let's go ahead and add, um, I'm going to add this one, and this is just a white noise thing that I added. Felt like it added a really good, um, really good sound for this style. Um, then we're going to go ahead and click this back in. This is another one, this little bubble start. I think that's also within flex. See, it's super minor. I don't even know what that sounds like. A little poppy kind of pluck. Um, just bring something else in, you know, and that's, again, that's only in the intro there. And I've got a few pieces kind of towards the end of the first hook and obviously with the rest of the hooks as well. Um, so let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and play that all from the beginning. Then I am going to add in this second bass. And now with that bass, I really wanted it to be something that was kind of, you know, more chill than that other bass. That other bass is so punchy. It's great for the hook, great for the chorus lines. But for, you know, the verse, I wanted something in the intro as well. I wanted something that was a little bit relaxed, a little bit more kind of guides to everything else along. You can focus in on the main melodies that are pushing it. And then we have this nice, super clean, but still crazy good for this style of music. A little bit of distortion on there, not too much, but just enough to give it that body just goes back down. This is based on the main bass line that I originally came up with. Just for a little bit more relaxed movement. So the only other element we really have for the um, melody is going to be this. And I wanted something that was kind of arpy. Um, you know, the, the weekend has a lot of arps and stuff in his, even if they're in the background, doesn't always come out. I wanted something that was a little bit more prominent, but um, I mixed it down so you couldn't really hear it as well. Um, but I think it sounds really good, and I think it complements certain sections of the beat really well. And as you can see, I only have it within this hook section, or the chorus, whatever you want to call it. It's basically the same with this stuff. Um, but we'll go ahead and play that. It kind of picks up the movement a little bit there. 
gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the um, first first verse here. So as you can see, we took out that big that punchy bass, replaced it with um, we replaced it with the lower bass, the one that kind of glides along a little bit more. Replace it with that, so we have a little bit less going on, so artists could actually get a verse across. Um, it brings down the excitement a little bit, but it still keeps it very fluid, very movement oriented as far as direction. We know where we're going, we know what the beat is going to be. Um, and then we have this other element. Go ahead and play this. Sounds like a guitar or something to me. I'm not sure. Let's see what it actually is. Oh, it's okay. Okay, that works. So basically another another keys. Um, so you have the world turn there and you have it's it, it sounds like a guitar to me, but you know, that's kind of the effect I wanted. And I think, you know, if even if something isn't the exact instrument you want, or if it's not the same VST like preset you want, you know, you have these things and you have to stay flexible when you're making something like this, because, you know, you could have something that in your head sounds great. You go to put it in, you find the right instrument, it just doesn't work. So you have to go for something else. And this is one of those cases where I think I probably wanted the guitar, but I didn't want a lot of the other weirdness that comes with the guitar in this type of situation. So that Wurlitzer works really well. Um, and it, it sounds good. And we'll, we'll go ahead and play the uh, first. I'm gonna go ahead and start slowly adding the uh, drums and everything back in, starting with the kick, working our way down. Seriously, this is everything going on right now. And I, you know, I've got, let's see how many verses, I've probably got two verses. Two verses, two hooks, two chorus, two choruses, and then a little bit of an outro there. Um, you know, it's, it's not complicated, it's just, you know, focusing on some of the small stuff can really pay off in the end. Real quick, we're gonna go back to this drum section. See how I pulled out some of the hats there right before it drops into the next um, section? Builds it up, then we drop back in, and it keeps that forward momentum moving. guys i mean that's that's pretty much the entire beat um as far as mixing super simple um i got you know <laughs> simple um not a lot going on i got a soft clipper on the master um i got a lot of fucking eqs on the uh, most of the most of the melody stuff had eq on it because those synths have a lot of low end and i didn't want to have any of that um so i took most of that out even on the hi-hat i eq'd out some of that low end and i boosted up a certain section about the mids um, but yeah, so there's really not too much going on with that. The only other thing I've done is uh, gain staging, which I will cover in a whole nother video, but just make, making sure that all your samples, all your one shots are hitting at the same BB. That's the main thing that gets you a good mix, sounds good. You're already going into the mixer with a set level that you know you can work with. Um, so yeah, I'll make another video about that soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so this is the beat. Let me know what you guys think, um, you know, hit the comments, hit the like button, go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday, No, I'm hopefully, get it.